Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome today back to my YouTube channel and welcome to something a little different. Today, I'm going to be unboxing a different kind of subscription box. This is a wow box and this is in fact the best Japanese candy subscription box. Now, I am very interested in this. What kid, what person in fact, doesn't love candy? Now, I've never really tried any other candy outside the UK. The only other candy I've kind of tried was type of chocolate, which was Hershey bars from the USA. Other than that, I've never really tried any. So this is brand new to me. This is my first one I've ever done. Now, I have to say I'm really impressed by this because this came all the way from Japan. There is a lot inside. The box is unopened. It's undamaged. It's really packed tight. So... That is definitely a thumbs up from me. And if you guys would like to get your own because you're interested in, well, pretty much grabbing your own Japanese candy tasting experience, there will be links down below for you to check out. So I'm yet to run, I'm yet to open this. I've been waiting a few days to do this. So let's get into it. If you guys do enjoy this, be sure to thumbs it up because, well, I'm sure there's going to be some candy in here that's going to send me crazy. But yeah, who doesn't love a sugar rush? There's one more seal I need to break and that is at the front. So I have my trusty knife. Um, and this is going to be an endless taste test for me. Like it's really, it's really packed extremely well. So I'm going to show you guys what's inside first. If I have a quick peek, because I don't want to make sure. Okay, this is why I need to have a quick peek because um, yeah, it's just a box and there's something else on top. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you guys what briefly is on top. It just says the wow box, everything that's about it. I'm just going to lift it up and show you guys what's inside. So this is what I can see. It is jam packed with Japanese candy. Hopefully it's just, I really, I'm really excited about this. I mean, I love sweets. I love everything that's kind of delicious type of thing. And just looking at the packaging, it makes me exciting. It just makes all the UK type of candies extremely boring. So what I want to do before we start unpackaging these and start um, tasting things, I'm just going to quickly see what this says. Now this says January 2015, even though it's meant to say 2016, we're living in the past apparently. Um, original, fun and tasty, you guys can see there. So on the back of this, it pretty much says what's inside. It says, what's inside me this month? We've got Kinaku Chan Soft Moko, Mochi. We've got Cabbage Taro, oh dear, a cabbage type. Squid shaped fries, <laughs> okay. Opal Gummy, Dondu Yaki. Sharapu gum. We've got lots of things inside here guys like I'll show you guys briefly what's inside there Hopefully you can see some of them. It's hard for me to let you guys see um, But here's just a little bit of a brief showcase of thing that's inside it. It says here nutrition facts tastes and wow box um, it Also says here It just says a few things about them. I'm guessing it's just showing you the fat and what's inside them and stuff, but I don't care I'm just it's this chocolate and just sweets heaven. Look at this. Oh, we got a drink. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to start off with the drink. Now, this drink is not in English. Salt and lime. And then you've got like the crazy things going on there. I'm very excited about this. It kind of looks like a cloudy lemonade to me. So let's, let's give this a taste. <laughs> I've never tried this. I don't know if I should be worried. Uh, but there's endless things inside here. Yeah, right, I'm going to start off with this. I'm already full of energy. Let's just introduce more calories and craziness to my energy levels. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I was right. Very similar to a cloudy lemonade. It does have a little bit of a kick towards the end though. Salt and lime. Oh, you can definitely taste the salt and lime towards the end of drinking this as it slowly goes down your throat. But it's not bad. <laughs> I'm just, I'm very, very excited. All right. It's very nice. I've never had this before, obviously, um, but I can kind of put it to a cloudy lemonade in a way. That's what it kind of tastes like to me, but you really do get a kick after tasting it. I'm never going to get bored of doing this. So for as long as Wildbox keeps sending me these, I'm going to have candy for days. Like it's going to be magical. All right, one more test. All right, I approve. It's definitely a thumbs up from me. I'm going to give it, I'm going to start rating things in today's video out of 10. That can have a six. We can start off with a six. It's not really a drink that I would go out and buy mainly, um, but it's definitely a six to me. You know what it reminds me of? If you're in the UK, probably not the US, we have the pink lemonade, is it? 
think it's the pink lemonade, which is the pink ball. Yeah, that is very, very similar to that. That's what I can remember. All right, this one. We're gonna start from the top and work our way down. These are Tahatu Kanankal Corn. Now they kind of look like, I don't know what they look like, but look at the packaging on that. Um, and this is what it looks like on the back. So if you can speak Japanese, then this is definitely going to be for you. But this is, let's taste it. All right. Let's open these. They kind of remind me of um, um, puff balls or whatever they're called. Oh, that's a strong smell. It reminds me, it just reminds me of, hang on. It just reminds me of like popcorn. It's a very similar popcorn taste, but it's very nice actually. I've definitely had something very similar to this in the UK, but not in this packaging. Um, I'm trying to think what they're called, but I can't put my memory on it. I don't want to eat too many. Because I want to try and save my taste buds. I'm definitely going to have a drink of this. But that. I like that. That can have an 8 out of 10. That's very sweet for me. And I like that. I'm a very sweet type of person. Is it savory? Is it savory or sweet? I think I'm going to say sweet. What's savory? I don't even know what savory is. But we're just going to say sweet. Because it definitely tastes a little bit sweet. I can definitely taste the, the sugar in that one. So, yeah. I like it. They're all very positive so far. All right, moving on to the next one. These, to me, just look like onion rings. And when I, I don't, when I say onion rings, I don't mean like the food onion rings that you get with your dinner. Like in the UK, we've got onion rings. Um, and they're very similar to this. So this is um, Yassi Salad. I better check this. I better check these. All right. So this one is going to be, yes, the Umul Wa Vegetable Salad. Make snack time feel like a touch less guilty with the vegetable salad delight. Vegetables? Okay then. Alright then, this doesn't sound very promising, but I'm gonna taste it anyway. Yeah! They just taste like space invaders. <laughs> That's all they remind me of, the space invaders. They're tasty. I approve. They are very, very nice. I don't know where the salad came from, but that's what they look like. Sorry if I forget to show you guys, I'm getting carried away. So this is what they look like, but they are extremely tasty. They are. They're wonderful. I like them. I gotta sit there and stream and eat them. That, that, they're very nice. I like them. Nine out of 10. The highest one we've given so far. I wonder if we've got a 10 out of 10 in here. It takes a lot to get a 10 out of 10 from me. All right, the next one is every burger. Now, if I remember these, these might be in little packages that you could open because we do have these in the UK or some form of very similarity. Um, every burger choco snack. Now you can enjoy a tasty choco biscuit in your burger shaped grill. Okay, well, all right then. Okay. All right then. <laughs> I'm very worried now. Let's open the package in. All right, let's show you guys real quick. So that's what we've got. Oh, okay. They're just literally burger, burger biscuits. I'm gonna taste one. They are nice. Very random though. Whoever decided to make this? Genius. You get the deluxe of a burger, but yet again, it's a biscuit. All right, thank you. I like it. So far, so good, I'm very pleased. Again, that's chocolate. I do like chocolate, but again, I'm more sweet. So, it can have a seven, because it had me worried at first. But towards the end, it's definitely a positive. What is this thing? It's a small thing here. I'm gonna have to keep trying to drink this because I'm trying to separate the, uh, the tastes so I understand all of the tastes. All right, onwards we go. All right, we got these next. Now these, they have like some crazy dude on them. I don't know. And then I'm gonna stick to this. I'm trying to, trying to put a name to them. So this one is 
Not on here. Oh yes it is. I think it is. I don't know. I don't know what this one is called. I'm extremely sorry. We got another one here. Oh, we got more of them here. All right, there's so many. There's so much stuff you get. It's like it's literally heaven. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's any of these. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry about this one. Let's just have a weird taste. Considering I don't know what it is, they smell like Monster Munch, like the um, the beef flavor. I actually don't know what I don't. I don't want to know what they are. That's them, and they come in a ball like this. Like a little puffball, but they're they're very nice. To me, that's a number nine out of ten because they are really nice. I like them. Obviously, some form of like crisp. In the UK, it's crisp. In the US, it's um, what's it called in the US again? Chips. <laughs> All right, puffballs. I got stuff everywhere now. They are nice. I'm trying to put them in the right order. I probably should have done them in the right order, but oh well. My first taste test, my first experience of a wow box. It's very wowy. And now my nose is sniffling. And we got we got endless more to go. We got lots more to go. So this one is. It's like a. I just broke it, I think. Um, but this one looks like it's got like some crazy design on it. I gotta keep showing you guys this one. It says sugar tea fry or whatever it's called. Um, let's see what this one says. I'm trying to see. Squid shaped fries. Here's. Is this the squid shaped fries? I think this is the menu. The squid shaped fries. I've just broken it, so my bad. Let me open this one. Um, I broke the squid. That stinks. This is what it looks like. Um, I kind of broke the bottom. But that. Boy, that stinks. It doesn't taste as bad as it smells. Boy, that smells like sweaty feet. Let me taste this one. Um. Um. Tastes like something from the chip shop in the UK, but I'm not the biggest fan of that one. I'm gonna give that a three. I don't know. The smell instantly put me off that one. But yeah. Oh, we got something Star Wars. So that can never have a three. Star Wars special edition. This is I can't read Japanese, so I've gotta, I'm gonna have to keep going back to this. Um, Star Wars, Star Wars, Bucarium special edition. The Force is strong with this one. We love chocolate treat with feature famous scenes from the first Star Wars films. All right then. I'm expecting like some kind of Pokemon card thing to pop out of these. So this is apparently chocolate as well. Um, this will be the second chocolate we've had. A lot of them have been mainly like sweets and stuff. This one looks like it's like a biscuit. It's like a wafer. So if you're in the UK, it's definitely like a wafer, um, or in the US, whatever you call them as well. Oh yeah, look, we got some Japanese sticker here, which is obviously Star Wars. You've got Luke, and of course you've got um, Darth Vader. That's obviously what it came in as well. Yeah, it's definitely like a wafer. Let me taste this. 100% a wafer. Taste it up. Yeah, 100% a wafer. I'm gonna try some of these because I'm gonna get my parents to taste them. Then I can give you guys an overall view in the description. But so far, it's all about stuff. Like, <laughs> my nose is really good stuff. Now, this one, this is only a small thing. This is a Chocomanda High Chew, I'm guessing. There's only one of these that I can see. No, there's not, there's two of these. Um, so this is a strawberry flavor, this one right there, and this one to me, is it a lemon flavor? It's banana flavor, right there, the banana flavor right there. So I'm going to taste the banana first because I love strawberry, so if this one's bad, I can't pop it. If this one's bad, at least I'll get to taste the other one. I dropped it nearly, so this is what it looks like, it's like literally it's, just, it's like a, a chocolate ball. It's not hard, so it's not soft, yeah, it's not like crunchy, it's like spongy. Now the banana tastes like those cheap penny sweets you get. Mm. 
banana to me in sweet form and candy form does not go with chocolate. Banana and chocolate to me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a good job I left this last. That one's definitely get like a two, three. That's not that's not nice to me. But strawberry. Strawberries and chocolate. It's quite common. I mean you can get banana split and stuff, which is that's ice cream, isn't it? But sometimes you have chocolate ice cream. So here we go. Strawberry. I really can't taste a strawberry that much. But the other one, the banana was very strong. But this one, towards the end, I can start to taste a strawberry. But at the beginning, I wasn't even fond of that either, guys. They can both have a combined score of three. I really didn't like that. I don't know who would buy that. Why would anyone buy that? I'm going to have to have some more drink. Um, yeah, I wasn't that fond of that one. I'm sorry. we still got plenty more to go. Anyway, continue on. <coughs> this one is a Sherry Tapuru Gum. This is apparently is a gum. Let me just double check if this is gum. Uh, this candy boasts two entirely different textures with a jelly yogurt layer and a crispy apple one. I'm going to say that towards the end because if it is gum, I might like it and I don't want to throw it out. So I'm going to move this over here. Uh, this stuff is very interesting. This is a choco cake. And we've got two of these. They're like cookies. Um, and it reminds me, and it looks like a giant Jaffa cake. So choco cake, this pint size, this pint size cake delivers a sweet and ari taste to dessert time. All right then, well, I'm going to go and taste one of these. And we're going to see what goes on. So this is... It's like a Jaffa cake. There's no Jaffa in the middle, but it's like a Jaffa cake. It's nice though. Hmm. I like it. It's like a sponge inside. But to me, it's nothing magical. It's not like the best I think I've ever tasted. So far, like the crisps, the chips, they've been the favorite so far. Um, Chocolate. Chocolate is chocolate. All right, we got. We got two of these. And they don't have any English writing on them. And these are, I think, Donton Yaki Old School Savory Fries Mochi Snack It. Tastes like Japanese pan fried food called Okonyaki. Okko. Nyamalaki. Okay then. Well, there goes. If I can get into them, the bit. How are these very hard to get into? All right. I'm gonna do it the old school way. In fact, give it old school left. Can't defeat the knives. All right, let's taste this. They smell, I don't, they smell definitely like a deep fried thing. Um, this is what they look like inside. They're nice. I like them. There's a little bit like this. They're very nice. They have a tangy taste instantly. They can tell they're deep fried though, like a very fried thing. Pan fried. You can definitely taste that they are some form of fried. And I think these are just the same flavor. Yeah, we've got two of the same flavor, I believe. Um, for them, they can have about... Oops, I'm throwing them everywhere. They can have about six. <coughs> <coughs> they, you can tell that they're fried because you can taste it towards the end. But they're a small snack and there's not that much of them. So that's why there's probably two. It'll make you come back for more. But I like them. It tastes like beef. Kind of like a beef flavor. Well, I don't know if that's a burnt flavor. I don't really care. I'll taste them anyway. Now this one here looks very promisingly worrying. 
This one is Mammoth Meat Light Salt. These Mammoth Meat flavored snacks pack a take, a big taste that you'll be gobbing down all day. And this is a Mammoth Meat themed snack. Okay then. Mammoth, a Mammoth Meat Size Snack. Um, all right, they come in like this form. They're all like this, they're all like little discs. Looks like someone's already had a bite of this one. And they absolutely stink, <laughs> to say the least. They stink! Um, they, they, I don't know, I don't like them. No. That looks like something. It tastes like something you should have for dinner and not as a snack. Oh, my breath stinks. <laughs> Ooh. That is not for me. That is not for me. That's having a that's having a two. When it's only having a one because I like crunchy things. Oh, Ugh. that was not the best thing. All right, we got here uh, this one, which again looks like gum. OP gummy. Um. OP gummy. Let's just say we dessert any of these on here. I've not seen. I'm not seeing this. I'm just looking through these. OP gummy. Um, I can't see any there. Again, I think these are two of gum, so I'm gonna say them towards the end. So we'll go with this one, which is called bake. Literally, it's called bake. That's all it's called. Uh, and I can't see the packaging for this one. So this is gonna be another blind taste test, where I don't know what's supposed to be. So I like to do a smell test to start off with. Anyway, I can't open. There we go. I'm in. I made it. I've ruined the packaging, but I'm just gonna taste it. So these look like this. They look. They smell. They smell like cakes. They literally smell like cakes. Oh. Now that's something I like. It tastes like icing. And I love icing. But it tastes like. Yeah, it tastes like icing. It definitely tastes like icing. Like the cake icing? Oh. That's beautiful. I was definitely getting a 9 out of 10 as well. Mmm. The only reason why I'm giving it a 9, because after a few, they become very sickly. Um, but very tasty, very nice. I right, got three more things in the box. Two more on top of the box, which I think are gum. And um, we got these, which remind me of like frazzles in the UK. But this one you're apparently meant to dip it in. Like I think it's meant to be a dip type of thing. That's what it looks like again, so you guys can see. It's pretty awesome. Let's open this. Ooh, got a strong smell from that instantly. A very, very strong smell. Um, it does, it has a sauce. It has a sauce. How does it meant to work though? Okay, I know how this works. So we got these little things here. I'm just gonna put them in the box real quick. Then we got these as well. So this is meant to be poured in here, I believe. Yes, maybe. So I'm gonna open this, which I think is like a chocolate sauce. Um, all right, it's chocolate sauce. And then it goes in here. It kind of smells like Nutella. I'm just gonna have to put this down while I do this. It's like a really thick, moussey type of chocolate here. Um, it doesn't look like it looks like it's on the packaging. It never does. Nothing ever does. Look at this packaging. It looks so awesome. And then you taste it and it's like, nope. But it smells. And tastes very similar to Nutella. And we got these little frazzle things. This is taking forever. I need to open this up a little bit more. All right, we did it. I did it. It's done. That's what it looks like. Looks like absolute poo. You got the little frazzles there. You got the chocolate there, which looks like a snake. And then if you look at the packaging, yeah, they look nothing alike. But anyway, we've got these little stick things. So you dip it in, dip, dip it in. Oh, don't drop the frazzles. Dip it in the chocolate. And then like this, and then you dip it in this. 
that's how it looks. I'm going to put a little bit more on, and I'm going to taste it. It tastes good though. They do taste good. I'm going to eat not all of these, but they taste really good. Mmm. They do. It's like a banana flavor. I like them. The whole concept though, isn't for me. Take this out this packaging, put this in this packaging. Not entirely for me. But I can still have a high level 8. Because they're nice. I have candy everywhere. I look like that fat kid now. Alright. We've got this now. Which is water gum soda. This cotton candy version of gum delivers its bubbly soda taste you'll love chewing onto. Right, that's another candy. Um, we've also got this as well. Which are these, and I have no idea what these are. These are the Kinatu Chan Soft Mochi, I think these are. I think that's what they are. Maybe I've already said that one before, I don't think I did, but I'm going to taste this one. This is the last one before the gum. Um, yeah, it's like powdery goo. That is most definitely not for me, and that is getting a one. Ugh. Ugh. No, not for me. Definitely 100% not for me. Um, I'm going to taste this one now because I, I don't know if this is gum. But I'm going to taste it anyway. No, it's not. That's them. They're, little can They're nice, them. They're not bad. I like these. They taste pretty cool. And I don't know if this is gum as well, which is the one I showed you before. But I'm going to try it now. Um, this might be gum, this one. It's coming like a bullet. This looks like a, it looks like a, a, a sweet, like a, um, I don't know, a mint. But it is gum, I think. But it's gum that you want to swallow. So I'm going to swallow it. It's definitely some form of gum. Reminds me of Hubba Bubba. I just run out of taste instantly. And then, last but not least, in today's video, we got this. This, this, this. This is going to be awesome. I remember things like this in the UK. Like It's like a candy floss styled gum. Which looks exactly like this in the packaging. It's like, it's like a heaven. It's like, it's awesome. And I'm going to taste all of this. Mm. I can literally taste the sugar as I bite it. It's like candy floss. I don't know if you meant to swallow it, but it's that good. I want to taste it. There is so much sugar in this, I can taste it, but... Can I have a 7 or an 8? You can literally taste the sugar as soon as you... you can, I can feel it around my mouth. But overall, guys... Wow, amazing. The first one I've ever done, and it's one of the most fun videos I've had in a long, long time. It's been truly incredible. And I'm hoping you guys at home, wherever you're watching this, have fully enjoyed it as well. I recommend grabbing your own, guys. If you've never experienced other candy outside your location, do it. It would blow your taste buds into something new. I mean, I've been drinking this whole stream, so you know I like this. Overall, guys, I'm just gonna say take care. Stay beautiful, links are down below, and as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye!